How's it going, everybody? This is James here, back for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we actually took care and defeated... Uh, we took care of the uh, Earth Temple and defeated the boss there. And in this episode, strap in because we actually got a another collectathon. But we're really going to go... I, I don't want to ruin it too much. But we are in, uh, nearing the end of the game here. And I want to go ahead and just grab everything all at once already and instead of just drag it on further so to start things off i will see you in one of the floors here in the earth temple because i actually missed the treasure chart Alrighty, here at the floor uh, in the room with the floor masters uh there's six of them i believe that used to have all the fog when you were here with medley um, go ahead and kill them all, and then you will actually get treasure chart number 20 here. I failed to do this while we were in here, but since we were still outside of it, I might as well grab it now. So, I will go ahead and cut to when I, uh, to Outset Island, and we'll continue another string of quests there. So, see you all then. Alrighty guys, arri arriving here to Outset, what we want to go ahead and do first is speak to Orca now that we actually should have um, you could have done this a lot earlier than I did if you had the 10 Knights crests but as soon as you have the 10 Knights crest go ahead and come over here to Orca's house and I believe all you have to do is just um, oops not that one I think all you had to do is just already just go ahead and show it to him and I think I'm not mistaking. Yeah, just go ahead and show it to him. A knight's crest. How many of those do you have? Hmm. Then I suppose the time has come for me to speak to you about these crests. The knight's crest. It's a symbol of courage of a courageous knight. But not just anyone can have them. No, it takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. Any courageous soul who gathers ten of these crests can learn a powerful new sword technique. Both my brother and I dreamt of learning this technique in our youth. We worked so hard to collect these crests. But it took many long years and adventures beyond count before... Okay, blah blah blah, just backstory now. Um, not anything too important. Okay, so now he's actually going to be teaching us a new spin attack is if you just hold it down and I'm actually powered up like the other Zelda games and release it you actually do the hurricane spin this was the technique that I was talking about when we were fighting the earth temple boss um, whenever he breaks into that if you use the um, that this hurricane spin it's a lot easier especially if you have the elixir soup okay yeah he's actually crying there so <laughs> okay so Continuing on. Cool. So yeah, he's just saying that that's all he can teach us, so... Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Alrighty, so continuing on here... to While we're here in Outset... Remember those pigs that we dropped off in the very beginning of the game? Well, one of them got really fat. So, don't talk to him. Now that we actually have the power bracelets, um, we can actually go ahead and pick up this pig. What you want to do is throw it over the fence here. And what I typically do is just kind of toss it over here off this ledge. Don't worry, it won't get hurt <laughs> or anything. Um, but just go ahead and pick it up. And it's kind of, you're going to walk all the way along this bridge. So, I'll save you the time and cut to it. Alrighty, across the bridge here with the pig, you want to go ahead and throw him into this patch of mud on the right. Go ahead and get some of your all-purpose bait out. And then just spread it across there. Oh, did he not get it? Okay, well... Spread some bait again, and then I guess in a proper spot. And have the pig see it. If he will see it, please. Yeah. 
Alrighty, there we go. So, um, totally don't pay attention that he hurt me while I was trying to, you know, get him to eat it. But yeah, just make him eat some bait in that, that mud right there, and he will actually dig up a piece of heart for you. So, the next thing I want to go ahead and do now is we're going to go sail to Rockspire Island. I'll see you all there. Alrighty, here at Rockspire Island, let's go ahead and start by destroying these two boats on the side over here. If I can sail over there to them. Go ahead and destroy these two boats real quick. And as you'll see, they, they'll drop some treasure that you need to dig up. Let's go ahead and destroy this one, see what they have. Okay. I think on this side is the one with the piece of heart right here. Just that one is the piece of heart right there. And then the other one will actually have uh, 100 rupees. So if you want to go ahead and pick up the 100 rupees here too. Oh, I just missed it. Oh my god. Alrighty. If you want to go ahead and just pick it up. So we just got another 100 rupees in our pocket. So, and then right here, while we're here in Rock Spire, um, we can actually sail to the island itself. And then there's actually a little cavern we can go in to actually obtain another treasure chart here. So I'll see you guys. Well, I won't cut here. I'll just go ahead and show you how to get onto the island. Okay. So yeah, just go ahead and come all the way over to the end. And you're just going to need your bombs to go ahead and blow up all these rocks that are blocking you. Alrighty. Okay, and once you've done that, just jump across and just jump in the cavern here. Okay, it's all dark. Just go ahead and get one of those Deku sticks and then light up the torches. And then there's going to be a ton of bats here. And all you have to do is just destroy them, or just kill them all, and then... You will be able to get a treasure card right out there, so I'll see you guys once this time. Cool, and then so we just got treasure chart 37. So, um, let me see where we're gonna go next. Sorry, I'm using my notes here on the side just so I can keep this organized as much as I can. But we're gonna actually go ahead and sail to Paw Print Island. So I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, here at Paul Print Island, go ahead and open up your treasure chart. I believe it's 30. Yes, oh, go ahead and open up treasure chart number 30. And go ahead and claim the prize, which is a heart piece here.
cool. Our third one so far. Very nice. Now, let's just go ahead and continue back to Windfall. And then from there, we'll take on another huge string of side quests that will gain us more treasure. So, I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, guys. Back here at Windfall. I want to go ahead and just get out and... If I can climb up. Probably can't. I don't know why. Need to be on the other side real quick. But anyway... Once you make it here to Windfall Island, if it's nighttime, go ahead and change it to day. Now that it's daytime, there's a, a gentleman over here by the bomb shop over here that is... Um, he'll, he'll, if you talk to him, he'll say that he has a lot of cash on him and he's got pet pigs or whatever. And this is what some of the golden necklaces are going to be used for. So as long as you have three, which I'm pretty sure you have more by this point, you go ahead and show it to him. Okay, he just talks about... And then he, now, once you give him the three, he'll actually ask you to chase um, his three pigs that he has. And you got to bring it to him back in under two minutes. So it's super simple. They're all actually really close by so you just want to go ahead and run after them and try to pick them up if it wasn't sneaky okay, yeah, you can just run up behind them you don't really have to sneak too much but it is kind of annoying when they run away I think you should just be able to oh, oh my god <laughs> let me see where else? Okay, let's grab this one here. I think what you're supposed to do, I think you just show up and just drop it in front of him, he'll say. I don't know why I threw it. Yeah, just go ahead and drop it in front of him, and he'll say that they'll count, he'll count them. So just go ahead and, there's one right here. If I'm not mistaken. Cool. And then when you bring him all three, he will actually give you treasure chart number 42. Um, it's kind of random, I guess, where they're at, but they're all here in the beginning area. Just be careful if some of them get in the water. You will have to try to push them back. If not, you can actually reset to the next day and he'll let you play again. But as long as you beat that time, you'll, you'll get the treasure chart, which is super cool. So now... I actually want to go ahead and go over here and what we're going to do is actually start the windmill. So you're going to want to go ahead and come over here, go ahead and climb up and then climb this ladder all the way up. Okay, eventually you'll get there. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to want to have, you're going to want to have the wind facing north and once it's there just go ahead and press on the button and it should start it okay and now you're going to want to go ahead and enter through here. Oops. Yeah, and then now 
that the windmill started, we should be able to ride it to the top. And then once we've done this, it will actually earn us two heart pieces. So go ahead and just jump up here and get, while you're here, go ahead and change it to night. It will all make sense once this is done, I promise. Okay, so don't do it while you're on there. It will actually clip you through the, <laughs> through the cart. That was weird. Okay, so now that it's nighttime, you'll actually notice that it was a windmill and also a lighthouse. So, And then you'll notice that the lighthouse is actually not on. So what we're going to do now with your fire arrows, just go ahead and turn the lighthouse on. Get blinded in the process. And that actually reveals that treasure chest all the way on that island there. And then also, before we go flying to it, um, or going over there to it itself, go ahead and talk to this gentleman that you've seen here. It's fine night. He said the Ferris wheel just started. He's all excited and really happy that it's working again. So let's see, I think. Yeah, you have to talk to him twice once you light up the the firehouse or the lighthouse <laughs> firehouse and then he should give you a piece of heart so this is our fourth one so now we actually have 17 units of health and then now that we're done with that you can let's go ahead and head over there to you can actually just change the wind direction right here either way you're gonna want to fly to that island that the chest was revealed Since we're almost there, go ahead and drop on. Oh. And I'll be back. Okay, so if you did fail like me, you can always just jump from right here. The bomb house. The bomb shop. Bomb shop. <laughs> just go ahead and drop down again and not fail this time. And that will actually net you a piece of heart. So that's cool. Now... There's still a couple of things here on Outset that we're going to complete before we... Well, we still have a lot to complete here so we can get some some unique items and treasure charts and all that junk. Over here, we're actually going to be able to go ahead and move forward in getting our fourth and final bottle. So go ahead and just talk to this little girl here. She'll tell you to shut up and go away. And then all you have to do is just run away from her and get out of her sight. And it'll activate her running. So now, of course, there's going to be another part where you got to chase down someone and not be seen. Super simple is just stay back and then just kind of use your uh, your right stick or the C stick if you're on the GameCube to just kind of pan the camera and see where she's going. There still. Okay. She's actually going to run up uh, along this ramp here. Just be careful and make sure that she's still not out. And then I think once you reach to this point. Oh, crap. Okay, so I don't think we're seen here, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> um, just be careful, I guess, run across there or stay somewhere over here and not get seen. But she will actually do that, which means it's actually working, I guess, which is kind of weird. But just continue to keep following her. And then you'll notice that she's actually running to Zanari's shop. And try and open the chest like a thief. You startled me. What do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait. Are you? The, the kind of creep who goes around night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are anyway? 
An ally of justice. What? An ally of justice? I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, y yet. Please let me go. It was just a, an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Why Why would you? Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're not... You're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little... Debutan debutante <laughs> in this town. Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress where I was locked and helped captive, blah blah blah. My father spent very less rupee, okay. Every last bit of our French family fortune was gone. Okay, so she's going to explain how she ended up being poor when she was really rich, to say that's terrible. The slob Maggie was the poorest girl. Now she's the richest one. Very well. Then you'll let me go. Unfortunately not. Because I'm honest. And I think... Set excuses for myself. Okay, yeah. She'll just learn the error of her ways. So she didn't stoop down to being a common thief. And we got our empty bottle. So yeah, just once you do that, just go ahead and answer everything as the first answer. And then it will... Uh, and then she'll give you the, the empty bottle at the end. Cool. So now that we got that out of the way, we will actually go pay Maggie a visit. See how she's doing. But first, you actually want to change it to daytime. So that everyone will be awake and not asleep while we barge in. Oh, crap. Go away, guys. No one likes you. Oh my god. That's the only annoying thing about like while running and or rolling around in town and you get near people. <laughs> Especially the ones that like have tons of dialogue. So yeah, anyway, just go ahead and go up that ramp and come over here. And then you'll actually notice that this the guy from the very beginning of the game when his daughter was stolen who was very like asking for all that help he's actually the rich guy here now so while we're here you can show him some gold necklaces you'll need 20 for this so um in order to get this item so yeah just go ahead and give him the 20 the golden 20 golden necklaces and then he'll give you treasure chart number two very useful while we grab that while we're here Hey, blah, 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 little urchin, just being a snob. So anyway, the real reason why we're here too is wanted to speak with Maggie. Think I would survive an ordeal, return to town, dream come true. But no, what a nightmare without him by my side. It's just one of those love stories that um, has a little funny twist. As she's actually in love with a moblin. <laughs> Sounds like a bad sitcom. So. Yeah, just go ahead and talk to her, and then she'll actually give you a letter for her, you to deliver for her. Let's just say yes. Cool. So now we got Maggie's letter. Just go ahead and run to a post box to deliver it. Let's go ahead and equip it real quick. Cool. I'll see you all at the post stop, the post box. Okay, so we actually had some a letter for us here. Cash on delivery, well, 10 rupees, why not? How you been, man? I gotta tell you, you really helped me out back there at the mail center. I appreciate it. Been, been true. Oh yeah, it's just the postman. The, the part-timer that we helped out, so. Basically just encouraging us, telling him sorry, telling us sorry that, uh, that we had to pay the cash here. But anyway, he gives us an extra 10, so made some profit. Okay, go ahead and deliver it. And all you gotta do is pay five rupees. And then what you're gonna wanna do is play the song of passing twice till the next day. Since it's the next day, you want to return to the mansion. Ah! 
And once you're back at the mansion, you'll notice a little cutscene between the postman and the snob himself. Yeah. Just going to say that, like, oh, like, pay attention, pay attention, blah, blah, blah. They're just going to go back and forth. The rich snob just hates postman and he just keeps telling him to go away. So... Just asking him to acknowledge that he was here, just so he can make sure that the letter was, you know, just for his work purposes, I guess. Bad that he's calling him unruly and everything, so now, now that that's done, we want to go ahead and meet the postman um, over here by at the cafe. So just go ahead and head over there and we'll let's see if he'll actually give us the letter. Sorry I had to witness fly off the handle like that over Maggie's house. Tell you the truth though, I came to deliver a matter addressed to Maggie from a moblin named Mo. But as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me to give it to her. What a stubborn meddling man. Refusing to accept letters from the postman. Who's heard such a nonsense? Okay, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, I'm a failure of a delivery trade. Yeah, now just so he won't fail at work and everything, we'll go ahead and help him out. You can go in a place, blah, 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 just giving, asking us to do this for him. So yeah, just go ahead and take the letter. Sort of stink to it. <laughs> it's gross. So yeah, just go ahead and head back to the mansion now. Okay, just go ahead and deliver the letter to her. Is that, could it be the letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read this instant. Read it this instant. Um, this is Mo. I like you, Maggie. So much that I want to eat you for dinner. Did you hear those words? That mean, it just mean, can it be? It's a marriage proposal. Okay, lady. Or young girl, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so, yeah. She'll give us a piece of heart for all the troubles. <laughs> So very worth it to come and do this um, kind of lengthy little side quest, but it's not too bad as the one that we're actually going to be taking care of now. Okay, back here at Zanari's shop, you um, if you haven't if you don't have the extra town flower after doing all the 14 like, and spreading them around the town, um, just go ahead and buy one and hop back on your ship real quick because we're actually going to do the whole um, trading sequence and actually seeing if we can fill up Zanari shop for him instead of just so he can only stop selling just the town flower. So the first stop, we're actually going to go ahead and tele teleport to... Let's see here, I think it's... Tower of the Gods, and then we're going to sail to Bomb Island. I'll see you all there. Okay, here at Bomb Island, you'll see an actually traveling Goron merchant. Just go ahead and uh, target him and show him the town flower. Oh, what? why that's a town flower, isn't it? In that case, you should be interested in the, the sea flower. Sure. Fee will be 20 rupees. Yeah, so just whenever you trade things, th there will actually be a, an extra price alongside it. So yeah, just go ahead and get the sea flower real quick. So by trading my goods, we have formed a merchant's oath. So from now on, I shall honor your merchant's, our merchant's oath by selling shipments to sending shipments of my product to Windfall Island Shop. How? Why? My good friend, the postman, will take it there for me. So it'll probably be there before you do. So just go back to Windfall and check yourself. Thanks again. Cool. So what that does is now we can actually buy the sea flowers at Windfall. So, but we're actually not done yet. So we're going to go to Great Fish Isle. Here on Great Fish Isle, you'll actually see a raft with the Goron merchant with a different hat this time. So you want to go ahead and just show him the sea flower. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to target him. Oh, you want to keep it? Yeah, you want to be careful because they will throw it away if you're not careful. <laughs> oh my god. Keep it. I guess you have to speak to him first. Traveling merchant. Shop guru statue. Okay, so yeah, the, his main goal here... Um, the main goal of this actually is to get that shop guru... Uh, sh yeah, the shop guru statue to show it to him and he will reward us. So, before we can do that, we get the exotic flower from him. And we owe him 25 rupees. Thank you, good sir. Okay, he just says the same thing. The merchant's oath. And he's going to be selling it in Windfall. So now actually doing that actually gives us a reward back at Windfall. So since the side quest doesn't really finish at Windfall, let's just go ahead and see what that reward is. Because this one actually comes with two amazing rewards actually. So it's going to be worth your time doing it, no matter how tedious. Back at Zanari's shop, now that he has three products, he's going to be very grateful for everything that we've done for him, and he will actually reward us with the Magic Armor. It uses rupees to create a barrier that protects you from enemy attacks. So that's actually pretty cool. If you want to actually protect yourself from damage, but you also need to be careful. Um, well, it's actually pretty cool if you want to substitute damage for rupees. If you actually want to fill up your wallet all the way and then just run around and not take damage anywhere, that's pretty cool. Um, this is what it actually looks like. Um, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, once you do that, you, it forms a magical barrier around you, which actually looks pretty cool. And while you're wearing it, it doesn't actually consume rupees. It's only when you take damage itself uh, at the time. So that's pretty cool. So onward with the trading quest, we're going to head back to Bomb Island. Okay, back here at Bomb Island. Just go ahead and trade him the exotic flower. And he will trade you the Sickle Moon flag. For 40 rupees. Cool. So now... Um, just when you thought that it couldn't get any more tedious, we're going to head back to Great Fish Isle. <laughs> Okay, back at Great Fish Isle, you want to go ahead and show him the sickle flag, the sickle moon flag for the fountain idol. Okay, and it's for 65 rupees. Okay, that settles things. Thank you, good sir. Okay, I wish they wouldn't have to show the whole merchant's oath. I mean, we've seen these guys repeatedly, and they should know us by now. Maybe it's the sun and that they're drinking seawater. Who knows? Okay, so from here, we're actually going to be going to a different island, which will actually have another merchant. We're going to Mother and Child Isles here, but you can't warp there. Just go ahead and go from Tangle and sail northwest. Okay, here at Mother and Child Isles, just go ahead and show him the fountain idol. Okay, I think after talking to him. Traveling merchant. Yeah, I forget you gotta build rapport before you <laughs> start shoving items at people. <laughs> so, what's that? Fountain idol, and then he will actually give you the big sail flag. And for this one, it will be for 35 rupees. Okay, thank you, good sir. Alrighty, coming up close to the final... Well, not final stretch, but... Um, final batch of trading, I guess. We're gonna go back to Bomb Island again. <laughs> Just so much fun, guys. 
Okay, <clears throat> here at Bomb Island, go ahead and show him the big sail flag. And he will actually give you a hero's flag now. And I think it's 75, yeah, 75 rupees for this. Getting a little bit more pricey now. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then from here, we're going to be going to Great Fish Isle once again. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and show him the hero flag, and he will give you the postman statue, and it's going to be for a hundred rupees. And then from here, uh, we're going to head back to Mother and Child Isles once again for like the, I think it's the final trade, and then after that, we come back here one last time. Okay, back at Mother and Child Isles. Just go ahead and show him the Postman statue. And he will actually show you the final item, which is the Shop Guru statue. With little Zanari there. <laughs> and it will actually cost you 200 rupees. So, I guess it's just make sure that you have that amount of rupees on you. Okay, and then now we're actually going to go back to Great Fish Isle for the final time to complete the side quest. Okay, I got you, your stupid statue, sir. Just give me the dang heart piece already. Shop guru statue, divine figure. Surely this is none other than the legendary. Blah blah blah. My lo <laughs> so heart filled reward. Cool. Now we get a piece of heart for our troubles. Thank God. So yeah, now that we actually finished a lot of these side quests, I know this was a really long episode again. But, um, like I said, we're getting really near towards the end of the game. And I want to make sure that I have everything before we keep moving forward. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you actually made it this far. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next one. We actually continue part two of the collectathon because there's still quite a bit left. So, I will see you all then.